Gozo here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how I made this jewelry pendants made of clay and it's a reclaimed clay from our studio and I'll be showing you how I transform them into these cute little things. Thanks for watching. Started by a slab rolled clay. You can use a rolling pin or a slab roller if you have one. Make sure you compress them both sides. I'm using the kidney, the yellow uh, rubber kidney. And I am decorating the surface with a found object. And uh, I have this uh, cookie cutter things that I got from uh, Enzika, from kitchen store, and in Chinatown. So I collected a uh, different shape that I used to uh, make the shapes that I uh, want to use so it's also really nice if you can use the plastic on top the if you use the plastic the edges are uh, instantly smoother you don't have to work so hard on smoothing the surface the side see here I'm using um, uh, the remnants or the leftover clay I am not throwing them out I look for a shape that uh, it looks like I can still make a form of uh, rock or beautiful found rock object so that there you go uh, right now these are the tools that I am using to make the holes the hole puncher there's the small one there's a big one and there's also another tinier one but for this I use the middle middle size for making holes so there you go those are the three samples right now this bisque fired uh, pendants I will be um, brushing the zinc oxide it's an experiment I just want to know how it will turn out uh, I'll be painting them and then brushing them off making sure the, the water is clear and there's no more uh, uh, zinc oxide on the surface and I still have to let it dry and uh, then I will glaze them uh, glazing I usually use uh, a dropper uh, it's easier to for tiny surface like that like this uh, brushing is okay but I found out that the dropper I found them at the dollar store it's easier to manipulate when you're glazing tiny pieces like this this I uh, painted with black under glaze and signed it with white under glaze and fired it on uh, 011 for bisque firing uh, there's a big difference with the next batch which I ended up um, experimenting on uh, using a wax resist as my signature and then I painted it with with um, black underglaze or black stain but I did not fire it first so uh, that's my boo-boo. Uh, I ended up uh, wiping most of it after I glazed them and I have to clean clean the edges of the glaze. So some of my signatures are wiped off. So it's not as detailed than the first one, signature-wise. So here are the plastic dropper that I got from Dollar Store. There's like three pieces of this plastic bottle for a dollar so I bought a lot uh, from time to time I'll come I use I come back and see if they have more uh, but the ones they have now is totally different with uh, the tip so I'm waiting for this type to come to, to come back so I'm just glazing using this plastic bottle and uh, I was it's easy to uh, control the glaze than brushing you know you can just squeeze it this is uh, the brushing part it's also okay brushing so both ways is good so the glazes i use for pendants are usually my leftover glazes so uh, it's kind of like a good way to use up all your remaining glazes so i'm not wasting anything so from time to time i will do the ones that i know uh, people like the people like a lot of blue a lot of light colors um, shiny if you have like the shiny glazes they like that too there you go these are ready for uh, firing uh, 
it's going to be for a cone six electric Tiny glasses that I uh, found on dollar store or craft store, Michaels, and I make sure they're tiny enough that it can stay on top of the pendants. So once I have the um, beads on top, I make sure I put a little drop of clear glaze so. Uh, the tiny beads will stay put, it will not roll off while it's going to be fired. Ready for firing. It's going to be fired at electric kiln cone 6, which is going to get fired around 14 hours. And the first loading, I have two parts of this uh, type of pendant. So, this is the first one I unloaded. Um, there's a second batch with a lot more lighter color. So, these are my ex this is the one with uh, the experimentation of zinc oxide, they're darker. Um, this this next batch is going to be uh, lighter in color more on the green side red and pink and blue so this batch uh, I did not paint the back with black under glaze and fire it I ended up uh, painting it and then uh, I tried to do the my name using wax resist and I did it out of sequence so some like this one I painted it on white so, so it's really kind of not that organized but the wax resist works I guess you just have to fire it I can use it on on uh, greenware wax resist uh, that one looks good uh, and then you can see your signature after it's fired but uh, I should have done that when it's still on the greenware stage and paint it with black underglaze and then fire it and then it will show up, show right now because I glaze it and I'm cleaning off the drips of the glaze and I'm also wiping off my black underglaze that I painted on the back so you learn, you know, everybody learns. That's my, the lesson I got from this batch.